it's thrifty tiffany and welcome back to my channel today i have a dollar tree empties video as you guys can see and if you're new here and this is the first time clicking on a video like this this is basically where i go over trash we talk trash with tiffany we go over all the items that i went through from dollar tree all the things that i've purchased i'll let you know if we liked it if we didn't if it's just a repurchase and if it's something i buy all the time so just kind of give you a heads up on what to look out for when you're at dollar tree and what to stay away from hope everyone is doing well today and you're happy and you're healthy and things are going good for you if you haven't yet y'all definitely check me out over on instagram and tiktok at thrifty tiffany 35 i'd love you to join me over there grab you a drink sometimes we drink tea here and um this is green tea and it's actually the tea vibe tea that i get from dollar tree it's really good and all i do is add a little bit of honey to it and we're good to go i literally just made it so it's still steeping a little bit and i do two bags just to have like i love green tea y'all and green green tea is actually really good for you so i'm gonna let this steep a little longer before i take a sip but we're gonna jump right on in and um yeah it's pretty well, it's been about a month i usually try to do these once a month and yeah we have so many things and so many new things so i just talked about this on one of my recent videos that i made um breakfast for the teenagers over homecoming weekend and I was looking for muffins and stuff, but then I found this. I was like, we're going to make that really good. These were really good. It had a lot of good cinnamon flavor in without the, it, oh my gosh, within the pancakes, the cinnamon flavor was really good. Also, the, it comes with like a little bag of the actual cereal that you just sprinkle over top, but these were really good. Definitely a crowd pleaser for teenagers, kids. They loved it. So definitely a thumbs up for that. And that's a good deal to get that for $1.25. I hope the lighting, the lighting looks a little dark. Hopefully it's not dark. Fingers crossed. You never know. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. This is another thing. So not homecoming weekend, but the weekend before that, Kaya had some friends over and one of her friends, one of her friends um, that has a little baby, they had came over and spent some time when we were watching football. So it was a Sunday. They came over, we were watching the game and stuff and we had made burgers on the grill. And then I also made these ooey gooey bars or they're called chess bars or they got a lot of different names, but basically use cake mix. And it's really easy. It's like a like five ingredients you use cake mix and then the top is like a cream cheese it's like these ooey gooey bars i have a recipe on my page from a long time ago but i picked this up from dollar tree to make it you can make it with any box cake mix and it was really good she loved them she had saw one of my videos from back when i did the recipe she was like i want you to make those the next time i'm at your house so when she was here we made them and they were so good Next thing, I just recently hauled, oh, there goes the lighting. I just recently hauled the water bottles that I get from Dollar Tree. The crystal, this water is so good. And yes, there's different flavors in water. I swear there is. But the spring water is really good. And this is, the red packaging is the spring water. And I absolutely love it. And when it's really cold out the refrigerator, y'all, refrigerator, it's it's so good. So crisp. Um, these little, this is was a four pack of, Yellow Clean Dice Peaches. These are really good. I love peaches. And I like them when they're a little bit frozen, like a little bit like icy. They used to serve these peaches in elementary school in this little white like cup. And they were frozen, they had like aluminum foil like top and you pulled them off and the peaches, they kept them frozen and then I guess put them out when they started to serve and they were literally so good. So if you ever get peaches in these little packages, Throw them in the freezer for a little while. Just let them get like a little bit icy. The best peaches of your life, y'all. So good. Went through this mouthwash. This was the Swan brand mouthwash. Um, Kaya used it. And yeah, so it's, it's basically resembles or is a dupe for a, a version of Listerine. So it was good. It was good. Vinegar. I just recently cleaned out my sink, the garbage disposal, which I use baking soda and vinegar. So I finished this out, but this is just good old vinegar from Dollar Tree, just the distilled white vinegar. Um, this is a go-to for me for fellas food. I get these quick jasmine rice packets for fellas food and he eats it. I mix this with ground turkey, can of vegetables or frozen vegetables and some type of fruit like blueberries. And that's his meal. That's how easy it is, y'all. So easy. Fix food. We went through these just for her. Um, oh, it was an emergency kit. I think, I think 
Kaya put this like in a packet to take to school, like in her book bag. And it's the emergency kit. So it had like, basically it comes with all the little things that you would need um, in an emergency situation. It's basically what you would put in your book bag just to have at school in case, you know, uh, just in case. I think she put it in her bag. I'm not sure. Cause that's all it comes with right there. So the perfect little kit to put in your purse, to take out the box and just have it in your purse or book bag, perfect. Um, Y'all, these are so good. We have, I have been buying these like crazy. You get three three of these and this is the Mott's 100% apple juice. And I think it's like less sugar as well. Like there's no added sugar. These are the best boxes, like the best juice boxes. I love them. And for $1.25 for three, it's so good. Uh, caramel, y'all know me and this caramel. We go hand in hand. I have some right here by my coffee machine. I, this is my favorite caramel and it's only $1.25. If you go to the regular store, look how much caramel goes for. It's so expensive. And this is perfect for coffee because it melts into the coffee really well. It's like a thin, a thin caramel and I absolutely love it. Also, I just recently replenished my sea salt. This is the sea salt from Morton's and um, it's fine sea salt and I just like it. I like cooking with it. So I always grab that when I see it. Now, I hauled this and was excited for it, but I don't like the flavor. I really don't. I'm, I'm really hooked on flavored coffee like French vanilla, caramel, or like different flavored coffee. So when I have regular coffee, even though I use French vanilla creamer, I'm still spoiled to the flavored coffee. So this was just Hawaiian Islands, um, just light roast coffee. This tastes like gas station coffee, hotel coffee. It was very basic, very plain. I did not care for it. But if you're a plain coffee lover, you might like it. But I like the flavor, y'all. I'm sorry. I love the flavored coffees. So that I didn't really like very much. We have our, y'all know my go-tos, Reynolds foil. This is a go-to until they get the sheets back. Q-tips, we always fill up both bathrooms, fill them up with the Q-tips, and I like to get the ones with 300 in it. So that's always a go-to at Dollar Tree. It's always gonna be a go-to for me, and we're always gonna use them. These club crackers are so good. If you like like the original club crackers, you will like these. These are really good. These are perfect with salad or chicken salad or tuna salad or just like a regular garden salad. Love these crackers. They're so good. They're, like, they're so good. That's a dupe that I really, really actually like. Um, of course, y'all know my Ziplocs. I always go through my Ziplocs. Got to. Here, is this another one? No, but this is the other one. So this is, I would say, a little better than that other coffee. It's still not flavored. But it's better, the, the flavor of the Donut Cafe Classic Blend, and this is medium roast, is better than that other brand. I really had high hopes for that other brand, but it was very basic, very basic. Um, this I would choose over that one. I wouldn't choose either of these again, to be honest, because I do, I do like flavored coffee, so that will be a no-go for me in the future. But um, yes, always gonna buy this. I'm always gonna buy this off the pantry just to keep in my pantry for emergencies, for baking, like I have it on hand when, when I make mac and cheese, have it on hand if I need it for a cake mix or pancakes or muffins. Just, you keep it in your pantry until you use it. When you do use it, put it in your refrigerator and it stays for a while, y'all. Don't be scared of this milk on the pantry. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared of it. It's good milk. So just keep it on hand um, for emergencies. Keep your little stash up and yeah, it's good to go. Just recently got this brand because they were out of nine lives and I had to run in and grab some cat food real quick. They're eating it, which is surprising because they really love nine lives, but they're eating this so far. So it's, it's, it's a thumbs up for, from my kitties. So they said that's a thumbs up. They really loved these. These are the playfuls. This was a big bag of treats, like a big bag. And they were the playful little rolls. They love this friskies, y'all. I love when they get brand name treats. They like those. We have peroxide. Y'all know I put this in my uh, water flosser. And you do like 50-50. And it just works. You can put it with your mouthwash. It just also, not only does it help, uh, what's it called? Like it's it's an antibacterial, right? Like it, antiseptic. It uh, takes the bacteria out of your mouth. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it takes the bacteria out of your mouth and um, helps whiten. So I do half and half. Went through this body wash. This was the hemp. 
This is by Next Gen Pure Natural Hemp Seed Oil Body Wash, and this was just triple hydration. Again, if these are thin, if, if you're not finding yourself picking it, use it for bubbles in a bubble bath. That's what we do. Like if you don't gravitate toward using it when you're washing, or if you buy one and you don't really like it, use it for bubbles. If it's too thin for you, that's what we do. Um, what else, what else? This was a bone. Um, is this the one fella liked or didn't like? He did like the treat, the, the dental treats. He likes the ones that have like a mint flavor that cleans their teeth. He loves these. This, I think y'all, I think this is the one that he didn't like on camera. Beef dog treat. One of these he didn't like. Yep, this was it. Y'all saw on camera, he was like, no ma'am. It smelled really bad. He said, no ma'am. Finished up this Worcestershire sauce. Y'all, this is good Worcestershire. I haven't bought this in a while. Like I've, I've, when I buy these, it lasts a long time. So it's been a while since I bought this. But um, it's the same. It's Worcestershire sauce, y'all. It's good. This was the apple cinnamon scent. It wasn't really that strong. Um, I probably would not buy this one again. Uh, it wasn't strong and I just didn't see myself using it a lot. Like I finished it, but still, let's take a sip, y'all. Mm. Y'all love, and it's getting that weather where you have hot drinks again. Y'all, I'm so excited. Uh, this toothpaste, oh, let me talk about this toothpaste. So I was so excited. Y'all remember I was so excited for this toothpaste. It's the White Glow Advantage, and this one is the purple toothpaste, but the flavor is strawberry. I hauled two different ones. There's a mint one and then the strawberry. I have not tried the mint one yet. This strawberry tastes like, I'm gonna tell you what it tastes like, NyQuil. It lived, this toothpaste tastes like medicine, like NyQuil. I'm using it because I bought it, but I wouldn't buy this again because of the flavor. I haven't tried the mint yet, y'all, but the strawberry, that tastes like cough syrup or yeah, tastes like NyQuil is exactly what it tastes like. So I won't buy it again, even though it is a good toothpaste. Y'all, I use the forks. Y'all know these are my go-tos. Forks, spoons. Oh my gosh. This is how much we go through them. I shouldn't have put doubles in here, but we got them all. Forks, spoons, got to keep them. Again, I have teenagers all the time in this house. All Kaya's friends. Um, went through the paste. We had got this. Ugh, they got something sticky. Did I get honey on me? There's something sticky on it. That's what happens when you save your trash, y'all. This, um... Really good, it's just paste salsa, but it was a big a big jar from Dollar Tree. We got a barbecue, used this. I made something with barbecue. I think mar maybe barbecue chicken legs. Dang, I had two wish, I must've cleaned out the refrigerator. I had two Worcestershire sauces. I marinated something, that's what that's for. Oh, I had made barbecue ribs for Labor Day. That was when I used the barbecue. And then the Worcestershire I use in, I use some in my green beans and stuff like that. So maybe I used it this is all saved for a whole month. So I use it at some point. These are a no for me. I will not be buying these again. These smell like chemicals, like chemicals. And I will not be using them on myself because wipes should not smell like that. It, it should smell like water, to be honest. And the thing was, I think this was unscented, y'all. Unscented, but it smelt like chemicals. I'll go back to the modest brand because that that one I do not like. That 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 did not smell good at all. Uh, always keep toothbrushes on hand. This is the Guru Nanda. We went through these um, band aids. I like these band aids. But I like cloth. The isn't it called cloth? Camo bandages, tough, durable protection, flex uh, fabric. Yeah, so flex fabric band aids. I like the fabric instead of the plastic band aids. They just can go around your finger. If you cut yourself, they're just more flexible, and I like that. Y'all, these are so good. There are a couple snacks that I will always get from Dollar Tree. These Pop Daddy pretzels, the smoked gouda are so good. Um, those coconut rolls, as y'all know. And what else? The caramel syrup. There's like a couple go-tos that I'm always going to get from there. Shaving cream. I swear this is on here every month because we go through it. Yep, there was honey. There was this honey that I had down there. Went through this. Both of those were good. Then this was true honey. Sometimes they have that little honey bear that's actually syrup, but this was actual premium 100% honey. This was That was real honey and it was good. Kaya finished this out. This is baby oil gel after the shower and after you shave. This is really nice to put on your legs and arms to just soothe it. It's out of the baby section, but it's called, this one had a smell too, lavender and chamomile. In the evening, y'all, and then get into a freshly clean 
sheeted bed. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I have went through these Expo markers. They're right here on my with my calendar. I have bought some new ones. Love them and use that. What was this? This was that bamboo like bone for fella. Bam bones. Bamboo fiber. And they chew it forever. And he loves this little bone. He loves it. This was some of the, these candies were good, y'all. These were filled um, ropes, sour and sweet lemonade. Those were good, definitely good. These, we were gonna do some cotton candy gushers and we never gotten around to it. Kai ended up just eating the gushers and I ended up eating the cotton candy. We didn't make the treats, but these are always gonna be good gusher. Uh, garlic sea salt, just re-upped on this. Love this garlic sea salt right here, y'all. It's so good. If y'all see that one, get it. And that's not a Dollar Tree brand. That's That stuff is good, y'all. Then I used it. Y'all know this is my favorite one. The um, pink papaya, vanilla. What was it? Vanilla and pink papaya. It's so good. I hope the lighting is not messed up in here because it looks a little crazy, y'all. I hope it's a good video. Uh, these I keep in the car and used them. Good. Good as any. The antibacterial hand wipes. Use these just in the car. My cats love this, especially the older one, Ella. She loved this. This is the natural salmon and tuna demi glaze. I poured it over their treats and they, I mean, over their food and they tore this stuff up. They, they came in little packages. This is what the little packages look like. They love them so much. This, oh, here, I have more of these. Um, soap, dial, this was coconut water and mango. We just filled up in the bathroom of the soap, that's a go-to. This was that oil pen for your cuticles. Love this, I have like three in my bathroom now for around my toes and my fingernails. And I got black French tip this time. Uh, we have, this is a lighter, love all the Crocs lighters. They're really nice and the ones with the long top, that's for my candles, love them. Love this black pepper, it's like the perfect you know, it's not too big of pepper chunks. It's perfect. I love this pepper in this in this little container. Love it. And Kai and her friends made these. They were she made Oreo cupcakes. She's always baking on the weekends when friends come over. They're always baking something on the Friday, Saturday night, Sunday. This was some Bombay rice. It's basmati. It had ginger and cumin. And that one, I don't know who baked this though. Maybe Kaya. I don't know, so I can't, I don't know. I don't know if it was good or not, but it got it got eight, y'all. And this was a candle. This one smelled so good, y'all. And this was by the brand Pure Sense, and it was Tropical Breeze. We had this in the bathroom. That stuff smells so good. And it burnt all the way down, which I love. Um, but that's it, y'all. That's the end of our trash. Um, I hope that got, gave you an insight on what to look out for. Love me some Dollar Tree. Love using up the items. I love when I finish items. Like, don't it make you feel good when you finish things out? I love it. But y'all hope y'all have a good rest of your day. And I will see you on my next video. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.